Back in the 90s, MC Hammer was known to be the biggest rapper superstar. Just by releasing a couple albums, Hammer was able to haul $70 million. But the rap star went from being one of the richest artists in the industry to bankruptcy. Wanna know why? Let's find out. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we'll find out how MC Hammer lost all of his millions. But before anything else, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel as well. You can also click the notification bell down below so you won't miss any of our future uploads either. Without any more interruptions, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. There are many reasons that led to Hammer's bankruptcy. One is the number of people he pays. Hammer had around 200 people in his payroll, which means that he was paying grants for people who were doing minimal work. Reports show that this costed him around $500,000 a month. Hammer also seemed to have unmanageable spending habits. Hammer owned a $30 million worth of mansion on a 40,000 square foot land. The mansion alone had touches of gold plates consisting of two swimming pools and also made out of Italian marble floors. This mansion has a lot more than what a mansion can offer. It has a recording studio, 17-car garage, 33-seat theater, baseball diamonds, and multiple tennis courts. Not to mention what he has to spend to furnish the place with antiques. It doesn't stop there. The rapper also has 19 horses, private planes, a Lamborghini, a stretch limo, and even had two private helicopters. On top of all of the millionaire splurge, he also had to deal with the several copyright infringement lawsuits in the peak of his fame, most notably with Rick James, who claimed he ripped off the iconic Super Freak bass riff in his song You Can't Touch This. The noteworthy song was recognized as a masterful piece in the hip-hop industry. This song was iconic enough to put it in the spotlight between 1988 and 1998. There was even a cartoon featuring Hammer as the main character. The case was closed after Hammer gave him a co-writer credit and had a massive cut of the royalties. It wasn't just Rick James who filed a lawsuit against him, however. He also had to settle a lawsuit with another composer who sued him for ripping off one of his songs. After all of that, Hammer then owned a record label and developed other acts, but by the late 90s, he filed a bankruptcy after recovering about 70 million dollars from his hit single. Instead of setting the money aside, Hammer then proceeds to give the cash to friends and family. That led him to spending millions but not paying taxes on his earnings. His overspending and not paying taxes made it seem like the court would disagree that he qualified for any forgiveness. However, he claimed on Twitter that he made things right with the government with his taxes. This led Hammer to file for bankruptcy in 1996 with a staggering debt of over $13 million and was forced to sell off his house for a fraction of what he spent to build it. In 2005, Hammer appeared in a nationwide ad that showed him losing everything. This collaboration helped Hammer earn his money back and make a name for himself. He also appeared in a Cheetos commercial for Super Bowl spots, which everyone had made fun of. True enough, MC had his ups and downs, as he is still in the attempt to try and bring back everything. He then rebranded himself as a minister. This gig helped him pay the bills for a while, and it was also revealed that the nationwide advertisement was a parody. This shows that Hammer is not afraid to spoof himself, all for building his net worth from the ground up. This story is now a metaphorical lesson towards any artist that serves as a warning on how to spend their money right. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Hammer's worth about $2 million today. But who knows, maybe he's still earning from those commercials and extended royalties from You Can't Touch This. But that's gonna do it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts and insights about MC Hammer's financial journey? Let us know in the comment section down below, and don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, Button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we put out for you guys next. We're signing off for now, but we will surely catch you all in the next one.